I want to show you a scripture that is very encouraging. It comes to you today from Acts chapter 20, verse 28. Take heed, therefore, to yourselves and to the flock, among which the Holy Spirit has made you an overseer, to shepherd the church of God, which he purchased with his own blood. Now, this to me is a beautiful uh, passage, and it is so, it's so encouraging because what, what we glean from this today is that God trusts you completely. He trusts us as his messengers, not only to convey his good news, but also to help people to grow up in their faith, to become like Christ, to be ministered to on an ongoing basis, which produces maturity in their lives. Now, think about this. Christ came and he gave his life on the cross in order, yes, to forgive sins, to redeem people back to God, but also to become again their God. The scripture says that we're purchased not with something that perishes perishes, or that is corruptible, but we have been purchased by the precious blood of Christ. This tells us that the work that Christ did at the cross was a negotiation on our behalf. And therefore, he gave his life, his own blood, so that we could belong to him as his own children. Now, if Christ paid that great price so that people could belong to him, and then he turns those same people over to you or to me to shepherd them, to oversee them, to teach them, to guide them, to love them in his name, to, to continually point them to Christ. If he trusts us with those people bought with such a precious price, doesn't that tell you how much God trusts you? He trusts you with everything. He trusts you completely. Now, I want to encourage you today. Walk out your ministry today with that kind of confidence that the God who called you, the God who has entrusted his words to you, is the one who trusts you with people and treat them with his love. Treat them with your greatest care. Treat them as precious possessions, not of you, but of Christ himself. And watch what happens as they begin to blossom in that environment of love also of trust. As God has trusted you, you also trust them. And God then does the work in their lives. Let's be faithful in that ministry. God trusts you. I trust you too.